So I've been an AirPods user since the very beginning when the original AirPods came out and I believe 2015 or 2016, then Apple released their AirPods Pro, which in its own right was amazing because of the sound quality, the noise cancellation, the new transparency mode that is now in every single sold AirBud, whether it is Apple or non-Apple. And then when they released their AirPods Pro Gen 2, which I have right here, these things have been absolutely amazing for so many reasons. But a lot of people, they just use their AirPods to listen to music, listen to their podcasts, watch video, and make sure that they have the easiest, most convenient way to get audio out of their iPhones. But there's a bunch of features hidden in these AirPods which are not a lot of people take advantage of. Like, did you know that you could use your iPhone as a microphone to listen in on a conversation in another room? while still having your AirPods in, or the fact that these new AirPods have a speaker and you can turn off and on a chime to make sure that it starts charging, or that it also chimes when an AirPod that doesn't belong to this case gets put into this case to let you know like, hey, this AirPod isn't yours. There's a bunch of features that I wanna go over in this video, so without further ado, let's talk about all the hidden features that these AirPods do come with built natively in and that can be all managed inside of your settings menu. Let's get into it. So before we get started, I wanna mention that I will be using the AirPods Pro Gen 2 specifically for this video, but most of these features will work with any AirPod, especially the AirPods that are currently being sold by Apple. So the original AirPods, the AirPods Gen 3, and then the AirPods Pro Gen 1 and Gen 2. And if they don't work with any of those AirPods, I'll make sure to leave it in the description below to notify you which ones work with which set of AirPods. But let's get right into it. And the first one is actually two features, maybe even three features if you consider it. But what you wanna have is go into your control center and make sure that you have this little hearing aid button right here. And the way to get that done is go into your settings, go into control center, and just make sure that it's right there. If it's not, by default it won't be, but add it in there. And this is gonna give you three options and three kind of use cases and features, which are kind of overlooked as AirPods users. So the first one, if you click on it right here, you get background sounds. So most of these features will first work if you have an AirPod in. So make sure you have one of your AirPods in and make sure that you're connected to your iPhone. So if you go into your control center, you now have two options as long as your AirPods are in your ear. The first one is background sounds. So by default, Apple has a built-in white noise machine. So you can click on here and you have the ability to actually turn on dark noise volume and you'll hear some rain in the background and you actually have options to change it. So you have balanced white noise, bright noise, dark noise, ocean, rain, stream, and it works extremely well. It's very intuitive. And then you see that now option number two or feature number two is that you have a decibel level reader right there. So what that allows you to see is that it makes sure that you're within a healthy range of loudness, for instance. So if you turn this up even louder and louder, you can see that the decibels are getting louder and louder. So if you're in, let's say, a loud car, you're at a concert, you know, you're blasting music very loudly in your ears, then it will start to warn you, say like, hey, you should slow down, or hey, this is way too loud, let's lower the volume or step away from the speakers to make sure that you don't damage your ears or anything like that. So that's features one and two, and you can just lower the volume all the way down to turn it off. And now this third feature is, honestly, it's more of a party trick than anything, but I guess it could be used in certain situations, maybe if you're a spy or something, but it has to be this live listen feature. So live listen by default is turned off, and again, the only way to actually make sure that it's on is if you have your headphones plugged into your ears right now, and if you press on live listen, basically you can put your iPhone in any room as long as you're within the Bluetooth connectivity kind of range. So 30 to 40 feet, and you're able to use your iPhone as a microphone to live listen with your AirPods. So let's say you're in the bedroom and your iPhone is in the kitchen, you'll be able to hear everything that's going on in the kitchen, which I think is a great little feature depending on what you use it on. And right now I can hear myself in my headphones. So those are features one, two, and three of your AirPods and they will work and they work extremely well. So feature number four is actually if you have, this is specifically for the AirPods Pro Gen 2. So in the AirPods Pro Gen 2, they added a new little speaker grill on the bottom if you do notice that. And what that is for is for a couple of reasons. So the first one is if you do charge it or you plug it into charge, you'll get a little chime to let you know like, hey, it's charging, you're good to go. Before you had to rely on the LED light in front of the AirPods Pro, to make sure that it was charging, but now if you hear a little chime, then it will work. The second reason they added speakers is because people by accident were putting their AirPod earbuds into somebody else's AirPods case. So if that something gets mixed up, I mean, this has never happened to me, but clearly there was enough of a use case to make this a feature on the AirPods Pro 2. So let's say this isn't my case, but this is my earbud. If you put it in here, the AirPods case will know that that is not your earbud. It'll start to shoot out a chime saying like, hey, this isn't your AirPod, make sure you get your AirPod back in here. 
And then thirdly, the speaker was put in there for find my purposes. So this one, this happened a lot to a lot of people. So if you ever lost your case and you go into find my, you can now ping your actual AirPods Pro Gen 2 case by playing a sound. And then you'll be able to find it, whether it's inside your couch, in your car, whatever the case may be. So three nice new features and use cases for this little speaker down here. And it is relatively loud. So this next one isn't really a feature, but it's something that you should be aware of in order to access your settings. So make sure you have your headphones near you and you can see that my settings menu looks very normal. But then the moment I open up my AirPods case, you can see that my settings now front and center will put my Fern's AirPod Pro Gen 2 right there so I can access the settings immediately. And then inside of here, you can just manage everything that has to do with your AirPods, right? You can change the name, you can manage your noise cancellation and transparency mode. You can change what the left and right shortcut do and things like that. You can show your ear tip fit test. You can end calls and call controls and things of that nature. So it's nice that Apple brought this to the forefront and now the settings menu is a lot more robust than when AirPods first released. And here you have settings like enable charging case sound. So that feature that I mentioned earlier, if you don't want that, you can always turn it off. So let's say, I don't know, you have a baby sleeping in your room and every time you touch your AirPods to a charger, it'll start to ping. I mean, you don't want that, you can easily turn it off. And then the next feature has to do with noise cancellation of one ear. So people, which I didn't know was a thing, like to have the noise cancellation on because maybe they like the feeling of that like tight canal on one headphone, but also keep the other ear open to be able to listen to whatever. So if you go into accessibility in this section right here, you can actually turn that setting on. By default, it's turned off, so it allows AirPods to be put in noise cancellation mode when only one AirPod is in your ear. By default, it will not allow you to do that, but if you turn that on and then turn noise cancellation on, then it will work and it does give you a sense of, to me personally, it kind of throws off my equilibrium a little bit, but it is there if it's something that you do want to do. Let's say you need one ear that's wide open to the street around you, and then you have the other ear where you can just have the noise cancellation on and you're good to go. Another feature that a lot of people like is Siri reading out notifications inside of your headphone. Now, I personally turned that off because it was a little annoying, especially if you get a lot of messages back to back to back to back to back because then Siri will just go crazy. But if you do want to manage that, you go into the notifications, go down here where it says announce notifications. You can see that I have it turned off, but if you turn it on, it'll have Siri read out notifications. Siri will avoid interrupting you and will listen after reading notifications so you can respond or take action. So if you do want to answer back, let's say you do get an iMessage or an email, you can just fully respond back to Siri and answer that with your voice through Siri notifications. But that is something that I personally turn off. If you do want to turn it on, it's right there. So now let's briefly talk about spatial audio. So I I did put my headphones in in order for this to occur, so make sure you have your headphones plugged in, and this works with only the AirPods Gen 2 because it does have spatial audio. Now, spatial audio, the first thing you're gonna, want, you're gonna want to do is go back into your actual AirPods settings, scroll down to where it says, see how it works, spatial audio on. So you can turn this off or on if you would like to, and spatial audio, basically, it uses your phone and the accelerometer in your headphones as well as the accelerometer and gyroscope in your phone to dictate where the sound is technically coming from. So if you go and make sure that spatial audio is turned on, and let's say you're listening to music or watching a movie, you can turn and manipulate and manage your spatial audio from the control center. So the way you do that is you go to your control center like I just did, long press on the headphone volume section, and then here you can see there's two options. This one to the left is a normal one we're used to, which is a transparency mode, noise cancellation, turning it off and on. And then I like to have it in transparency mode when I'm doing this, but then spatial audio, you can also turn that off you can have it fixed or you can have it head tracked. Head tracked is very interesting. I highly recommend trying it out if you guys haven't yet because it is kind of gives you this feeling of being at a concert because you can, wherever your phone is and you move your head, let's say to the right or left, that is where the noises will be coming from. So if your phone is in front of you and you turn your head to the right, then your left earphone will sound a little bit louder and will sound a little bit more clear than the right earphone that is facing away from the concert venue. So that is what spatial audio is. I really like it, especially for some songs specifically. It gives you the simulation of surround sound, which I love. So this next feature is one of my absolute favorite features when it comes to usability and just convenience sake, right? So let's say you're taking a trip, you're on an airplane, and let's say a significant other or a friend, their phone completely dies, and they have nothing to entertain themselves with. So now, if you have two sets of AirPods, let's say that friend or you know significant other has their AirPods, you can actually use the same device to play to two AirPods and sync that perfectly. So right now, I do have my AirPods Pro in right now, which are not in here. And if I go down here, I am playing some music, and on the top right-hand corner, you can either long press on here, and then press on this little dot right here where the headphones are, you can see that when I open this up, my wife's AirPods will show up and populate right there. So let's say I'm watching a movie or listening to music, she can now grab her headphones, put them in, and then all I have to do is press here, and then it will start playing from this headphone, which is amazing to see. So it does take a second to load up, and it, once you put them in your ear, then it will work. 
but I love this feature because it does allow you to not only share the content or the music that you're listening to, but also control each one separately. So I can move the volume here if I want to, and you can see that it does it automatically there. So I love this feature. It should be talked about a lot more because it is very convenient and so well done overall. Okay, and then this last feature I think is absolutely amazing that Apple can do this just with their headphones and their software. So if you go into your settings, go into accessibility, go into AirPods, then click on the AirPods that you have right there, then go all the way to audio accessibility settings, then headphone accommodations. I know it's a lot of different menus, but we'll get to it at the very end. Make sure that it's turned on, then you get this new setting over here. And if you have your headphones in and you turn that on, then you'll start to hear yourself speaking. So that's something to take note of. Then you go all the way down to where it says transparency mode, then go all the way down to where it says conversation boost. If you turn that on, that means that the conversations and the vocals that are being heard out in the wild when you have accessibility mode or transparency mode on will then be amplified. So if you're hard of hearing, maybe you have a little bit of a lower tone, maybe your decibels are a little bit lower, and you wanna be able to hear the person across from you with your headphones in, this is going to help you immensely. Like I'm talking through my headphones right now and I can really hear just how much louder I sound to myself. And then to turn it all off, you just do the same thing, but backwards, we'll turn that off. So now I'm not hearing myself as loud. We'll turn off headphone accommodations because it's not something that I personally need. And then you're good to go. But those are all the settings that I highly recommend playing with. I know some are gimmicky, but some are actually very useful. And then some of them are just there to maybe show off to your friends, like the one that you're just spying on, right? Maybe you have a situation where your friends are in the kitchen and you're in the bathroom or something. And you can say like, hey, why are you talking about me behind my back? Or something along those lines just to get a laugh. But let's finish up this video. So that is gonna do it for this video, everybody. Like you saw, the AirPods Pro Gen 2, or any AirPod for that matter, has a lot of features going for it. Most of these will work with pretty much any AirPods Pro or AirPod Pro Gen 2. Just keep in mind, and I'll list in the description down below which ones work with which AirPods specifically. And I am mostly talking about AirPods Pro and AirPods in general, not the AirPods Max. I don't really play with those at all because for $550, it's kind of hard to justify those headphones. But my favorite feature of the AirPods has to be the fact that you can use your iPhone as a microphone to kind of listen into what's happening in other rooms. I know it's a little bit of a gimmicky feature, but it is very cool that it is possible to do that. And then one of my most used features is actually the ability to connect multiple AirPods to one single device. For instance, if we're on an airplane with myself and my wife, we just have our both separate AirPods and we're able to listen and watch together on one device, whether it is an iPhone, an iPad, or even a MacBook or MacBook Air. So keep that in mind. Leave a comment down below what your favorite feature is. Are there some features that maybe went unnoticed that you found out in this video and something that you're gonna use moving forward? Or do you guys use your AirPods purely as an audio source for your iPhone or your iPad or your MacBook? Let me know with a comment down below and let's talk about exactly what the best features are and the ones that you use most often. But if you guys did make it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know you made it to the end. And if you guys wanna watch some more Mac OS, iOS, or iPad OS videos, click on one of these right here. And until next time, everybody, I'm Fernando, and I'm out of here. Let me know in the comments. I'm curious to know how many people have AirPods Max because, again, I find it very hard to justify $550 for a pair of headphones when the AirPods Pro gets you about 95% of the way there. But I'm out of here.